Hey y'all, come on in and get ready to make our little vegan or vegetarian, not vegan salad, but our vegetarian salad. So we got salad fixings here tonight. Uh, we just gonna use some nice big old salad. Well, Kareem gonna want his, he wants his uh, as chicken as a sandwich. I am watching the world, the 2023 World Championship track and field. I have had, I hope you all are watching. I don't know, I'm, I love sports. I, I was an athlete when I was in school 100 years ago in high school. So I still enjoy watching track and field. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do his, I'm gonna do mine. Okay, we got cucumbers, onions, some of uh, these different colored peppers. Take the end off of those. I've got some mushrooms and some onions. And what I'm gonna do with these cucumbers simply is just put these little ends off. And then some of those, uh, take, I'm gonna slice them and we're gonna put them right on our salad. Get our salad ready. I got some walnuts cooking in the microwave too. So this is one of those quick, easy things you can do. You know, if you want, Cause we're not really that hungry, so a nice salad will do. It's because we're eating late too. Sometimes if I don't eat like a, a big meal at some point during the day in the evening time, I really don't even think about it. I'm gonna cut some onions because I love onions. I should've gotten some red onions. But any veggies that you have in the refrigerator will make a nice salad as long as you got you some lettuce, salad dressing, some peppers, and I'm going to like I'm putting um I am putting mushrooms in mine. I love mushrooms, either raw or cooked. It doesn't matter either way. And I love I love any kind of raw veggies. I like them raw or I like I can cook them. It doesn't matter either way. They're good. They're tasty. And I just I'm in love with them. So we don't have them raw tonight. And I'm. I found a, uh, an avocado. It's kind of really, really soft, but I savaged me enough off of it. You know, avocados can uh, so chop these. Now you just chop everything up that you're going to put on there. Okay, that's that. That's all the veggies. That's all the veggies, y'all. Now I'm going to go ahead and simply, uh, I got my bag of lettuce over here. Mm. I like to try to use this list and for some part by reason these veggies are growing fast. So let's just do us a handful. Hands clean y'all, hands clean y'all. I know the hands patrol out there somewhere. Patrolling. But my hands are clean. So we're just gonna have a, a nice bowl of salad here for Din Din tonight. Okay. Alright. I've got some balsamic vinaigrette that we're gonna use. I've got some ranch, and I've got some avocado ranch. This avocado ranch is pretty good. I start, I discovered that at uh, Sam's Club is where I first, I'm sure you can get it in the rest of the school, but I've only really seen it in Sam's. So, um, let's go here, I think I'll put here a little bit more. And since Kareem is probably gonna only eat this lettuce and we're just gonna put some uh, cucumbers on it some nice cucumbers on there plenty of cucumbers okay cucumbers that's in there really good they're good once you get your salad dress on it you know it doesn't take a lot Get those greens in it too. And I always put some of um, that uh, apple, what did I say this? Apple, honey apple. And it has a little kick to it. Sprinkle about a half a teaspoon on top right there. And then I'm also gonna put, uh, where is my? cilantro lime seasoning. I like to put that on there. These uh, seasoning have a real good flavor and they have a nice little crunch to it. 
they just add uh, a little extra to, you know, otherwise bland. If you didn't have um, those salad dressings and those fixes on there, you'd be just eating plain old lettuce. So, um, oh, by the way, by the way, y'all, was in my little brand new little P, that's little P that I introduced y'all to yesterday. I told y'all her parents took too long to name her. It was three days. She was a preemie, but she doesn't look like a little preemie. She just looked like a little doll baby. And uh, they, they were taking so long about naming her. So I started calling her little P, and it sort of stuck, y'all. So that was my little P. Let me bring some more of these greens over here. So he's going to put, I'm sure, um, he'll load his up with ranch and some of that vinaigrette. And that is going to be here. And that, that's just a regular plain green salad. Now, I'm not putting tomatoes because guess why? I don't have any. So I'm not using tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and put this, which is, this is my salad coming up here that I'm getting ready to make right here. Put a few little greens in there. And all these veggies are going to go on mine. Putting all these veggies on cucumbers, peppers. I'm gonna figure out, I don't think Kareem probably don't want peppers, but I always do, this is what I do to my salad here, is I mix it, take it and mix it just like this, so when I get ready to, to eat it, I don't have to do anything to eat it. I don't have to do the mixing thing. I'll save some peppers in case he decides he wants some of those red peppers. But y'all know how to make a salad. I just want to come by and say hey, and let y'all know how much I enjoy my little pea. I enjoy, y'all know I've told y'all I'm a clothes person, so I buy lots of clothes. And so I have taken to buying all these clothes for little pea. I'm gonna put my avocado right in the middle, y'all. So I've taken to buying little pea all these clothes. So I went shopping for her and I saw that little dress. I just, you know how it is with little bitty babies like that. You see those little clothes, you cannot resist them. Are y'all watching? Yeah, y'all can see them. So I'm getting, I'm putting my sprinkles onto mine here. Let me call Corrine. Hold on, y'all. Do you want some, uh, I got some of them uh, red and, and uh, yellow peppers. Do you want some on your? Uh, okay, this is the cucumbers in there. I figured you did. So I get to eat all the peppers. Okay, all the peppers. I will eat them. I am, uh, like I said, I'm watching this World Championship uh, track and field. Please watch, you know, kind of, I guess, you know, you know, watch to support, I guess. I'm going to support what I'm trying to say. Watch to support. Uh, I can remember whenever I was a teenager coming up, running track, my parents worked all the time, and they didn't know a whole lot about track and field and all that kind of stuff. And so they never really, I, I can't remember. My mom may have came uh, come to one of my games or so. Uh, I, I don't recall that she did because you know they work hard and by the end of the day at night they just didn't feel like getting out you know in the evening time coming to a uh, track meet or to a basketball game or like, a uh, volleyball game because I, I tried to do it all but just because I enjoyed it y'all and to this day I still watch when the boys Run for the ring when they played sports, Tony. I was right there front and center on the football season. I was running up and down the sideline, basketball season, out in the. This is some garlic that I am chopping up on here. But this is my nice garden salad. This is my vegetarian thing for today. Okay. Okay. Lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. Yeah, I love it, love it, love it. So good. I don't know where in the world I stuck my uh, cilantro lime seasoning, but that cilantro lime seasoning is really, really very good. Hang on just one minute. I'm going to go find it. Okay, we're back. I'm still looking at the Olympics. I, I mean, the, the World Championships. I got caught up. Okay, y'all, I got some blueberries. I'm going to be putting on my salad. I'm going to drop me some blueberries on there. 
I got some Havarti cheese that I've chopped up. I'm gonna drop on that. So this is, I mean, this is a vegetarian I mean, maybe the cheese might have brought it to another level, but for the most part, this is my vegetarian dish for tonight. Good old, that's, this is some good Havarti cheese, y'all. Probably a half an ounce of it, I'm thinking. And I've got some uh, walnuts that I put a little bit of honey and butter on. So you want to garnish with. Well, I think I'm going to put my salad dressing on. I don't like a lot of salad dressing, y'all. And I'm going to put on some balsamic vinaigrette. I mean, I was turning the TV down. I forgot I had to turn the TV back down. Okay. I want a little bit of ranch. I love to mix these uh, dressings. It just makes it taste so much better. Probably about a tablespoon of each. I really meant to take some of this out. I know I'm not going to eat this whole salad. Okay. Now, I'm going to drop some of these honey glazed walnuts on top. And I'm about ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy because I got some of everything. This is one of them everything but the kitchen sink salads here today. Yeah. Okay. So there's my vegetarian salad. I've got uh, lettuce, peppers, onions, mushrooms, cheese, walnuts, and of course, three kinds of dressing. So this is the gourmet vegetarian salad of the evening, y'all. So if you want to make this one, all you got to do is just grab every veggie you got in that refrigerator and pull it out and start chopping it and get your salad together. Oh, listen, guys. Lord, I'm, I'm being remiss. I got tied up with these Olympics. Please let us pray uh, for the people down in Florida. Had a friend whose family was here over the weekend. They had to stay over another day for that storm that's impending down in Florida. So we're hoping and praying that it does. I know it had not hit earlier tonight. I don't know. I haven't looked at the news lately. But we're just going to continue to pray without ceasing. Like I said, we're going to just pray, pray, pray. And pray some more because there's always something to pray for. Something new every day. Heard about some shootings today. I, I don't even like to have to mention them. But we know that we do have to pray for those families that they feel the comfort of the Lord as they go through these shootings. This stuff is just happening all over the place. And I talked to Narik earlier today. He had a great day, he said, um, at school today. I haven't talked back with Kinsley. Kylie got, Kylie's been in school for a couple of weeks now, so the kids are back in school. Man Man's in school. Tania's in school. So everybody's doing well. Lauren is, uh, she's going to college. She's going to the local college here, right here in town. And she started, I think, two weeks ago. And most of her classes are online right now. Alicia next door, this is her second week. So they're all doing well, and we're going to continue to pray for our children. Pray that strength in the Lord that they will learn all that they need to learn and pay attention and apply themselves to uh, stay in school and do what they need to do uh, to get out here and become great and better citizens, uh, contributing citizens, I'm, I'm trying to say. So anyway, we're just going to continue to pray for our uh, teachers, administrators, uh, for all those people that govern the um uh, the curriculum that they will choose the best curriculum for our children that parents will stay involved stay plugged in no matter what so guys thank y'all so much for stopping by thank you for your prayers your well wishes your comments and your compliments and for all the support that you give to my channel and to tanya's as well and for all the kind words that you have for my family and of course um i know y'all enjoyed little p yesterday i'll be having her on more often as she's over here She'll be, she's almost two months old, so she's just growing. You know how they sleep a lot when they're little tiny ones like that. But I just love her because she just, just seemed like she's going to be my person to hang out with and go shopping with. So we'll see as time goes on. But that was my little P. 
So anywho, y'all, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy my salad. Hope you got something good on the table for yourself. Uh, pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. And continue to pray with me for my kitchen. I learned today that I'm going to have to practically get my entire kitchen pulled apart to get this uh, situation I'll update y'all and take some pictures later. I tell you what, I'm trying to sort things out right now, but continue to pray my strength and my patience. God has given me that patience, so I'm not being impatient about it. I just wanted to get it done because the holidays are breathing down my neck, y'all know. Y'all know that the holidays are fast approaching, y'all, so we need to start thinking about it right now. Once the kids go back to school, seem like before you can blink, it's Christmas time. So, anywho, I'm going to get out of here and go sit down at the table and eat my salad. And until I decide to cook again, you guys, please, please, please pray without ceasing. And fix yourself some good food to eat. Love you guys. Toodles. <laughs>